I want to ask you a question in the in the sense of expectation that way because I think if we maybe expect a certain way of living or a certain outcome of expectations with people or just our general life but you know how how do you regard the way of viewing expectations in your life and you know do you let it rock you tremendously if it doesn't go your way one way or the other or do you how do you stay kind of in that let's say flow if it exists so that yeah. you're not that boat you know tipping over and this is like a perfect question because i'm recently going through something that i've had to really really like release an anchor do you know what i'm saying so i believe i strongly believe that anytime i command something in my life like this is happening and i feel it in every cell of my body and i i, I demand it to my from myself in the world it happens every single time okay and with that being said so we can we have to command our life and when we command what we want we create it and we create it quickly and at the same time sometimes we've commanded something and we're used to getting a specific result and so it's an expectation right so there's can be these expectations around results or ways of being and then sometimes you can continue to command and put the legwork in and do the things that have worked in the past but they're not working anymore and you're like huh this isn't working and that's a sign that something needs to be transformed so there's expectation expectation comes from practice oftentimes if we practice something enough if i'm a if i'm a really fast runner or i'm on a soccer team and i'm used to winning well my expectation is that i'm going to win we can talk about it but if all of a sudden something that we've been doing as a team isn't working anymore and we're all of a sudden losing well something needs to transform so in my current life today i was I was getting super geared up for this event that's been really successful in the past. And I felt like I was pushing a rock uphill. I actually was doing more work than I've ever done in the, in the past to prepare and make it perfect and all these things and get a specific result based on an expectation. But it wasn't working. And I was pushing it and being resilient and commanding. And I was like, okay, I need to pause because something needs to transform here. And through the pause, I realized that I was bending, I was shifting the integrity of my work to make it work for other people. And then I was like, that's not working, got it. So the event's still great, this is still great, I just can't compromise. And it just gave me more insights on a very deep level as to what needs to change. And so I turned a three-day event, I pivoted, I transformed it into a one-day experience so that I'm not compromising my work. I'm still giving people an experience. I'm still in integrity with what I said I would do just in a different way. And I learned that sometimes no matter what you do right, some things aren't gonna work either to redirect you or because something needs to be transformed or it's not your door or it has an expiration date. And I'm like, well, what is it? And so with the space of expectations, we can have expectations and we also need to be aware that sometimes there's a bigger universal message of something that needs to change. Sometimes it's us, sometimes it's what we're doing. Sometimes it's a whole new redirection. And what I call that in my book is spiritually aligned chaos because it's chaos to recalibrate and redirect you. If you're aware enough to pay attention to the signs.